Hello, this is Big Clingy, and uh, this is my first narrated playthrough. I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. This was actually the fourth game in the series, released on um, Japanese SNES in uh, 1996, I think it was. But, um, like many of the series, it's never been released in English. So, um, I'm playing this uh, using a fan translation patch, but... Basically, this is easily one of the best games in the series, so I highly recommend playing it if you're a fan of Fire Emblem in general. Now, um, uh, the text in the opening movie isn't translated, but what you basically need to know is that uh, many years ago, an evil empire ruled by a dark god controlled the land, and nobody opposed them until the 12 gods gave their power to 12 warriors who managed to defeat the Dark God and bring peace to the world. Until now, that is. Uh, that's the Dark God there, Loptus, and this is his opposite, Naga, but you'll find out more about that eventually. So, uh... This game basically tells the story of the descendants of those 12 warriors. And um, you're about to hear a familiar theme right about now. Okay, let's begin. Don't mind the glitchy text. It's another one of the things that wasn't translated with this patch. Basically, it's just explaining to you what I just said. Um, you can actually find the full script of this game on the internet. I'll probably put a link in the description. This is basically just explaining to you the basic setting and um, some of the major characters. some controversies in the translation. I like violent though. Yes, he doesn't look suspicious at all. All these people are going to become extremely significant later on, so... Yeah, try and remember most of this information. You probably won't realise this now, but the story of this game is amazing, really. It's just, it's epic and, well, you can't really describe it, you'll have to see it for yourself, really. It's just, it's amazing. And if you're thinking this is going to be the first chapter, well, you'd actually be mistaken. You never really take part in that conflict, but... Essentially, most of the lords have gone off to Isaac, leaving the place virtually unguarded. Virtually non-existent, you say? Hmm. Right, 
Now this is setting up for the first chapter. And this is Sigurd. He's the main character, and he's awesome. Right, so um, I'm almost out of time here, but in the next part, we're going to be starting chapter, uh, the prologue chapter. Very true.